we are. It is Friday the 29th of January 2021. It is nearly four o'clock in the afternoon and still there are no signs on the wall of the Magistrates Court or down there which say this is Sir John Hawkins Square. Um, and they were removed on June the 9th, 2020 by order and authorization of a Mr. Giles Perriott, who is the Assistant Chief Executive of Plymouth City Council. So, um, after somebody did a Freedom of Information request, it turns out the council have um, quoted section 19 of, local, of the um, 1925 Public Health Act, which says that the local all local authorities have got a statutory duty obligation to make sure that all, all road signs are legible and can be read and are on display for the public. So they've got an obligation to do that. And in section 19b, it states the criminal offence, criminal offence that it is to remove any road sign in the UK, in anywhere. So if I was to remove a road sign, I would be breaking the law. The council have then, in this Freedom of Information request, quoted section 111 of the Local Government Act 1972, and under that they have a general power of competence to do anything within their jurisdiction. But the caveat to that states clearly they can do anything within their general power of competence as long as it is not in breach of another statute. So removing the road sign is a criminal offence. The council have a legal obligation to make sure that all road signs are displayed properly, legible, and the section that they're trying to use to say they have a lawful authority and lawful excuse to remove Sir John Hawkins Square sign over the last eight months, seven months, is to say that they're using this power of competence, which actually says you can do it as long as it doesn't breach another statute, which cl this clearly does. So Giles Perrot is currently facing a misconduct in public office charge, as well as a daily fine for every day that the sign was not displayed. So in 1925, legislation, section 19 of the Public Health Act states, a pound a day. But then you've got to bring it up to relative to the costs of, of the real value of a pound in 1925 and what it is 96 years later which is actually 62 quid. So you only work out how many days the sign's been missing, which is 200 plus, and you're looking at 14,000 pound fine, which is quite ironic really, because they're currently chasing me for eight and a half grand, and yet I'm just about to file the appeal on Monday. Wednesday's the deadline, by the way, but I'll file it on Monday, and I may also file information to ask this court where that sign should be for a summons against Giles Perrot for misconduct in public office and for illegally removing a road sign without lawful excuse. I hope they do put them back up because they need to. They can't put Jack Leslie Square signs up because they've not even been made yet and the, and the issue is still in the courts and it will go all the way with the alteration argument, I believe. Um, and the wording alteration was used again in section 19, if you want to check that out, which is interesting. So, there we have it. So, Sir John Hawkins Square, signs were removed unlawfully by the council because the people who want to change the name of the square might vandalise it. Yet it's been here for 37 years and nobody said nothing. They ignored the people of Plymouth because we were never asked what we think. They just did it to appease a small, woke community that all started because of the Cosmic Cafe and because of their false petition that they put on Change.org. And in fact, the lady who put up the graffiti around the signs actually broke the law as well, if you read section 19. So by her putting those signs up, 
the knee-jerk reaction from the council was to take down the signs. Now just consider this. Say, for instance, an old man walking through this square was to have a heart attack and he made an emergency phone call to the emergency services to request an ambulance to be here. Now imagine if they said, where are you? And he would go, oh, I don't know where I am, because there's no signs telling him where he is. So that in itself is a public health risk, in my opinion. We need to have these signs put back up so that people know where they are. Right now, there is no signs telling you where you are, so don't have a medical emergency in Sir John Hawkins Square because the emergency services might not be able to find you because there's no signs telling them where they are.